Hello, welcome to my talk. My name is Cecilia Tabete. I'm here to present a project supervised by Dr. Bennett and Professor Iken from the University of Cape Town. The project focuses on screening FDA-approved drugs and natural compounds for hemozoin biomodulation inhibitors in pfalciparam. So, this is the typical life cycle of a plasmodium species, and uh, in a report published in 2020 from the 2019 uh, statistics, there were over 400,000 deaths that are caused by malaria uh, in that year. So in, in, this, uh, in this life cycle, the uh, mosquito is the vector. It, tra it transports uh, these, uh, these parasites in the form of sporozoids, and they go into the liver for primary multiplication in the human host. Uh, these are released into the blood via mirozoids, uh, in the form of mirozoids. And the blood stage is pretty much where uh, the life cycle is uh, maintained. Uh, during that uh, life cycle maintenance, there is uh, the feeding stage uh, in the trophozoites, and they feed by degrading uh, hemoglobin and releasing free him. Uh, free him is uh, toxic uh, in the, into the parasites, so it forms these uh, heme aggregates, which are often called hemozoin. And the process is called uh, biomineralization, and in that process, uh, the free heme that is, that is uh, formed in two crystals uh, is not toxic uh, to the parasite. So this is the basis of, uh, of this research. So this is the protein that has been identified recently uh, as recent of 2020. Uh, this protein is believed to be responsible or involved in the formation of these heme crystals. Uh, this is part of, uh, is, uh, is part of a, a lipocalin family, uh, which are often believed to bind small hydrophobic ligands. Uh, this is where you find the binding site in this uh, beta barrel region of these proteins, and this is where we'll be looking for our binding site. So the methods are uh, common uh, computational methods, uh, including the docking and the analysis of the scaffolds in those uh, ligand libraries, uh, which is referred here as cheminformatics. Uh, the second method would be uh, looking through the changes over time of those uh, ligand uh, protein complexes and the poses, and that will be done using molecular dynamics. Uh, another way of looking at uh, binding affinity is usually the use of uh, free energy methods. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, MMGPSA will be highlighted as the method, as a primary method. So uh, this is an overview of the project. We're trying to find the binding sites. Uh, we're going to use a uh, site map to do that. Uh, we are also trying to find the, the ligands that bind to that uh, binding site, and we're going to use docking. Uh, we'll try to see uh, how it depends into, in the complexes over time, and for that, we're going to use uh, molecular dynamics. So uh, going to the results of the project, uh, this is one of the best poses from the screening. Uh, this is from the South African National uh, South African uh, Natural Compounds database. Uh, as you can see, the binding site is in the beta barrel, and this is just like the subunits of the uh, tetramer that I, I had shown earlier. Uh, this is the interaction diagram in the binding site, uh, showing the interaction and the interactions like the pi, the, the hydrogen bonding and the pi pi stacking. Uh, this is the table. Uh, that uh, shows uh, these are the drugs from the different libraries, and these are the binding energies uh, that has been predicted by MMGPSA, and these are the docking scores, uh, which are from uh, the extra, pre extra precision. So the plans and uh, what is currently being done. Uh, so far, I have successfully screened over uh, 1,000 compounds uh, from the FDA approved, and some from the natural compounds and uh, and natural compounds. So the, the the resources I've primarily needed from uh, from the CHPC are the GPU and the serial long queues uh, for the long uh, molecular uh, molecular dynamics and uh, docking jobs. So uh, right now there are some jobs ongoing uh, uh, pertaining to uh, molecular dynamics and some free energy calculations that are going on and the plan for the future uh, is to do some experimental work and uh, hemozoian uh, imaging. Thank you.